everyone, welcome to the Maori Ranch. It's a beautiful day here in Weatherford, Texas. We have a very famous mare, Dual Better. She's by Dual Ray out of Little Queen Elena. Uh, and she belongs to Barbara Uppen, one of our longtime great customers. And we're about to full out, I don't know, maybe close to a couple hundred nowadays. Uh, we've done a lot of this trial and error. But we freaking I've done it long enough, we kind of know what to look for. And so I'm going to give you a couple tips. Uh, first of all, mares have 11, mon 11 months of gestation. And so she's right on her 11 months. She's due really any time. Don't see that she's going to have anything probably tonight. Because here's the things you look for. She is getting soft back in this area, which is a good thing. And the most important thing we look for is down here on the nipples. And if you can see, she's not as bagged up yet as they normally will get, but they'll start to crest a little bit of milk. Sometimes they start dripping milk. Showtime. So we know, we know we're about ready to go. I never promote another horse to be in a pen with the, any mare that's about to foal, or a mare and a baby, because sometimes they will uh, cause too much commotion, riffraff, disturbs the mare in her birthing process, and not only that, but you know, I've actually seen mares steal babies, and so then you really have the fight on. And that's not something that we want any mare to go through. So the other tip I give is is to leave them alone. Don't panic. Don't have a party. Be real quiet. Keep your distance, and you're going to see mares get up and down and up and down and rearrange, and and then at some point they get pretty shocky acting, and you'll start to see that leg crest, and then another crest and then the nose. Um, we have broke the sack before just because we felt like maybe it was a little too thick to let that baby get that air passage. But normally they'll break through that bag pretty easy. It's just about be having patience. I always recommend that you have a vet on hand if you need one that can make it to your ranch. Many of you can't, but you still need to reach out and know that you have a vet. It's pretty hard to haul a mare to a clinic that's trying to have a baby. So we're lucky to have Dr. Lisa Stevens here for many years that is very hands-on. But we're able to, to pretty much kind of, hi, honey, I know you're miserable. You know what that feels like? But we're lucky to, in, in that sense, to know. And so we just really try to leave all that nonsense alone and let her enjoy that moment. Uh, the baby's more alert than the mare is at that point when they're uh, out and they start to try to get up and they have that moment of figuring all that out. But with, you know, if they haven't had a baby within the first hour, I would say, and you're not seeing something happen, happening, you may have um, breach. You could have a lot of things going on. So you've got to really be mindful of that. But normally it's just such a mother nature thing and it's something to really see. And we've actually seen it during the day, but mostly at night because they don't want you to be a part of anything. We've watched her full a few times. So we kind of know her disposition. I've had mares and so is Rick. It'll run you out of the pen. They want you to get away from that baby. So you just be careful. Uh, they do they do change their personality a little bit after they've they've had uh, uh, their babies. So just uh, you know they're not they're not always that gentle when they're going to guard something very precious. So well on the other side of the fence, these are mares that no longer um, are breedable. They've got some age called our geriatric mares and. And Dual Better's wishing she was a geriatric mare right now because I know she's probably feeling miserable. This is Sweatwood. She's a full sister to Miss Echo Wood, which is priceless. Uh, this is Rita Nonchalano. She's a catton out of uh, my first uh, show mare, Miss Caesar Solano. And then another sister, Lena's Jewel Bar, is on the top also out of Miss Caesar Solano. I mean, I've stashed all of this away. So I know they're having fun, you're not. So they're checking it out. It's, you know, people say horses aren't really all that intelligent. I'm gonna completely argue that because I think they all kind of know and, and they will be right here when she's having that baby. I'm just telling you right now. But uh, they've had plenty of them. But you know, she's 20, she's almost 29 and 20-ish, 20 20-ish. 20 and uh, that's what we do here at the Maori Ranch, right? <laughs> 